Hey everyone, this week's podcast sponsored by Racing in the Dirt. Located in Cleveland, Wisconsin, Racing in the Dirt is ready to put their over 30 years worth of off-road experience to work for you. From turnkey builds to rolling chassis to an awesome selection of parts, the Racing in the Dirt staff has got you covered. Brake kits, aluminum hub kits, enclosed chain drives and kits, dry shaft loops, and even DIY wheelie bar kits, all available. So let Scott, Shane, and the crew at Racing in the Dirt get you the competitive edge you need. Give them a call at area code 920-693-2000. That's area code 920-693-2000. Or find them on Facebook or even racinginthedirt.com. That's racinginthedirt.com. And the UPS Daily. Hey there. I'm back with another episode of Paddle Talk. It is myself, John Sorg, and Mr. K-Dub. And we're going to talk about Silverback Off-Road Speedway's next race this coming weekend. Uh, if you're listening to this, you might already be there. Uh, if you're listening to this, thank you for listening. I don't know what else I was going to say. Um, August 16th, 17th, Winter Circle Shootout, Friday and Saturday event. And this is a points race. And speaking of points, we have number one and two in points for the Sportsman Points Chase. Yeah, tell John us what Sword. order that goes in. We don't got to go over the particulars in that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might be down a whole, I might be down twenty eight points in the hole right now, but <laughs> all I know is I'm coming back. I'm coming yeah. back for it. I'm getting There's back. Still time. Too many people depending on me. My brother, he looks up to me. I'm his role model. I'm going to win this championship for him. I got all the little kids are on my side. I'm coming after you, Johnny. All the little kids like Audrina? That one yeah, time, she's, you know, and she's, she's looking up. play that me. video. <laughs> we don't need to show that video. I don't even know what video you're talking about. There oh, was one where I was in my razor. Watching... I was in my razor and she was watching me with her mom. And then, uh, and then she just points at the person racing me. She's like, I want that one to win. Oh, I actually like, did see that. That's funny. <laughs> That's yeah, funny. and then and then when he won, she got mad and goes, "No." <laughs> it was a classic. She had to have been four or five years old at the time. Well, if you're a hater, that means you're just a diehard fan and you don't know it yet. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's what feeds K Dub. Remember that now. <laughs> He's praying for that corner turn. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is that what the points is? You're 28 behind, behind 28 points behind John. Yeah, I fell in the hole. I went out like second or third round, and then ATV is my bread bread and butter. And then I went out first round. I'm like, God dang it! <laughs> and I think Johnny would have been <laughs> one. I'm like, this isn't good. <laughs> oh, he sure does. Damn, that kind of hurt. Yeah, but but you I'm also have third place. I'm gonna get all my goons line up against John first round and comp, and then. <laughs> And then I'm gonna be there. Brian's gonna be there. Anyone else I can think? We're gonna try to get him out first round and see if the I pickle? can get with an ATV. Send the pickle after him. No, oh, Brian yeah, I get Brandy G. after him too. Uh, what was that, Kada? What did you say? Oh, yeah. Send Brandy after John. She yes. needs some revenge. That's true. So 28 behind. Send the pickle then, after me. But you're you're John's first. You're second and third, and John is fourth. Now, for the people who don't know, John, how does Silverback's points work? Silverback Off-Road Speedway's points work? Uh, basically, when you are entered in a class, then you get points for it. So, like, we're entered into two classes in the sportsman side there. So, they're tracking our points for both classes that we are in, that we accumulate points for. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, I think so. Uh, so all the sportsman tree classes basically are all lumped together as sportsman championships. So you have comp, ATV, and open mod just thrown together basically. Yep. Yes. And then in the pro, it's the 350 index, the pro index, which is your 325, and then pro truck, and then pro comp, and then pro ATV, and then, well, I guess that'd be I think it. that's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, then Terry yeah. Wise is leading the way in pro points championship with the 350 class killing he's been doing. Uh, John yeah. McCall 
He's been killing the 325 index, it looks like. He's in second. And then Tom Hartman's in third in the pro truck. Oh, and there's John Sorg again in fourth. He's in between Tom Hartman. Tom Hartman's third and fifth. Yeah, and I, I didn't want him rubbing bumpers there, you know, so. Well, you are. <laughs> you still are. So. <laughs> um, so, is the game the game plan for K-Dub here is to just – Take John out first round, whether it's yeah. you or somebody else. Is it going to be you? Goon squad, front row, right next to John. We're all going to be waiting for him to come up with the drag, sir. And then we're going to pop it right next to him. I like it. That'll <laughs> be interesting. Bring him on. This sounds like fun. We did the same thing, too. It was two years ago. I think it was twenty. It was the year before it became Silverback, and I was in a point championship against Hartman, and we kept sending people out to Hartman last race. And then yeah. I ended up losing to Dan Bennett first round. And then the oh, no. backfired. <laughs> <laughs> How the rest of the squad do on that? I don't remember. I think Brian, I think Brian did what I needed him to do, but I didn't hold up my end of the bargain. Yeah. <laughs> so Brian, Brian just still walks away with points. That's funny. <laughs> Brian's a brother you can depend on typically. Yeah, usually. Sometimes he's a little squirrely, but but you can usually depend on him. Yeah, yeah, he struggles a side by side just a touch, but I mean, hey, he's just getting back into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Friday, five o'clock to eight p.m. Five p.m. to eight p.m. Test and tune. Racing starts at eight. Uh, Three fifty index and open bracket Friday night. Saturday, they switch over and start the kids at. Oh no! Excuse me. Pee wees and juniors start at eleven a.m. Registration is at ten a.m. And then time trials start. At 1 p.m., and racing starts at 5 o'clock for Comp, ATV, Pro ATV, Pro Comp, Pro Index, Pro Truck, and Open Modified, where you will see these two battle it out and see if uh, K-Dub and the Goons can knock John off his little high horse of uh, being 28 points ahead. They say, bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> Should be a fun weekend. It's going to be awesome. I ain't got nothing else. Y'all got anything else? Not really. really right now. You should you want to yell at each other a little more? Fill up some time here. Well, mm. well I was going to body slam him in the first round. I mean, it's just going to be epic. I don't think that's possible. I'm going to be on top of my game. I'm going to get the turbo turbo in. I'm going to get. I'm going to. I'm going to pull all my staging game. I'm going to do all my games. Staging games. Staging games. More staging games. I'm going to pull a pull a spark plug gap <laughs> off. Pull a spark plug. <laughs> gap off. You're not looking. Staging. You're gonna jump out and do it, are you, on the way up? I'm going to do everything I know. <laughs> He's going to take three pounds out your left tire. Maybe your transmission will work again this race. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know that'd be my luck, but I hope not. That sounds sketchy, K. W. You had something to do with that last time. You just I know. To... Kind of makes All I know longer. is you can't prove anything in a court of law. <laughs> <laughs> And I threw the evidence out. Yeah. Yeah. Way to go, John. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shoot. Silverback Off Road Speedway Winter Circle Shootout this Friday and Saturday, August 16th and 17th. Ooh, real quick. Who do you think is going to win? John or K Dub? Let us know in the comments, whether on YouTube or Facebook. Mm -hmm. Let us know who you think is going to win. John or K Dub? Because they are going to race each other, probably. You would get an point. immediately angry face if you pick John for, for me. I guarantee it. Oh, get ready for those angry faces. I <laughs> get ready for the angry faces. <laughs> you I'll don't want any smiley either. faces. <laughs> hey, everyone. This week's podcast sponsored by Racing in the Dirt. Located in Cleveland, Wisconsin, Racing in the Dirt is ready to put their over 30 years worth of off-road experience to work for you. From turnkey builds to rolling chassis to an awesome selection of parts, the Racing in the Dirt staff has got you covered. Brake kits, aluminum hub kits, enclosed chain drives and kits, dry shaft loops, and even DIY wheelie bar kits, all available. So let Scott, Shane, and the crew at Racing in the Dirt get you the competitive edge you need. Give them a call at area code 920-693-2000. That's area code 920-693-2000. Or find them on Facebook or even racinginthedirt.com. That's racinginthedirt.com. And the UPS Daily. 
Mr. RPM Cycle in Denton, North Carolina, designs, manufactures, and sells high-performance engine components for Can-Am of engines and specializes in V-twin engines. They have an in-house dyno for all your mud bog and drag racing needs. They also have a full line of cams, heads, and they make an awesome billet aluminum V-twin block. They also do in-house ECU tuning, big bore kits, turbo, blower, and nitrous oxide builds as well. Please take a look at Mr. RPM Cycle for all your V-twin needs. Visit their website at www.mrrpmcycle.com. That's www.mrrpmcycle.com. Welcome back to this segment of Paddle Talk, where we're going to talk about the Southern Power Sports Drag Racing Series race coming up. But before we do that, we have a very, 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 very special guest. Not only do we have Dave Applegate, who's not so special, but we do love him. <laughs> um, but we got uh, a really kind of well-known racer on the in the southern part of the United States. We have Isaiah Salters, and we are oh, we have uh, his son Joe as well. And uh, first and foremost, Isaiah, how you doing? I'm doing all right, man. I can't complain. Well, Joe, how you doing, buddy? Good. Good? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, so, Joe, how long you been, have you been, how long, how, well, let's start with this. How old are you, Joe? Six. Six years Six. old. Do you go racing? Yeah. You said yeah? Yes. Do you, What do you race? My dirt bike. Your dirt bike. That's awesome. Do you how big it how big's your dirt bike and how fast does it go? Um it go kind of fast. Billy, it's probably faster than yours. Whoa, okay. That's a whole I mean, so just I saying. Well, hold on. We can't talk. Hey, don't bring okay. my mini bike into this now. Okay. <laughs> he did nothing wrong. <laughs> uh I, I would hate to do that to Joe too. My mini bike's fierce now. It runs a smooth nine seconds with me on it. Um, so, but anyway, Joe races in the Pee Wee's class. Is that right? Yeah. Yep, the kids' class. Now, Isaiah, um, kind of introduce yourself to our audience because, including myself, not a lot of people may not know uh, who you are and the uh, prestigious. Uh, record that you have in racing in the sport of dirt and sand drags racing um my name is isaiah salter um they call me zay full send zay um yeah i've been racing well let me say i've been around the racing since about 2010 um my friend got me into it we started off at slaves park they're closed down now we used to trail ride and then they used to have big races on sundays um, but I've been racing, we're going to say the, the high caliber bikes probably for, uh, since 2022. So I just actually started riding the real fast stuff. So, oh, but I, okay. I've been around the game for a little bit, so I know a couple of things. Okay. Um, what kind of tracks do you go to or um, not, not what kind of, but where do you go to? Um, I try to go. As, as many places as I can, to be honest. Try to get out as much as I can, go to every track that I can. You've been to Shelton's, right? I have not been to Shelton's, unfortunately. Yeah. It's definitely on my list to go to, definitely. Well, it looks like you go to you go to Greens, yeah? Is that um, – hold on, I might miss this. Where you, Did you say where you were from? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm from Hopewell which is approximately about 15 minutes from this potato, which is where greens is located. Okay. So you um, live, you live in Virginia. Yes, sir. Okay. Gotcha. And how do you, hold on. How do you say the town that greens is in? This potato. Wow. I said it all. Screwed <laughs> up whenever I announced it the first time. Well, um, so you would say that greens is your home track, Zay? Yes, sir. Most definitely. Okay. So that means you're probably heading over to that race they're having next weekend with uh, Southern Power Sports Drag Racing Series. 
Yes, sir. I'll be there. Me and my son. Yeah. Jojo, you gonna go you gonna go win some races into next weekend? Yeah. Um, he's going after that. He's going after that world wrestling belt thanks to National Junior or National Junior uh, Dirt Tracks. Ooh, yeah. The, the, which, we might have a, which we might have a chance at. As long as he can keep it straight and, and hold it, I think we might have a little chance of coming home with a belt. That'll be pretty good. Get that him his nice little piece of hardware for him. What what kind of dirt bike is it, Joe? That PW50. PW50. You got you got a little nitrous oxide on that thing hiding somewhere? No. Say not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Well, Isaiah, I got a question for you. Um, I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but I want to let everyone know. Uh, you're bad boy bikes. Who builds them? Uh, Mr. Tony Miller. 90, 95% of the bikes I ride are MR built. Yes, sir. Well, shout out to Tony Miller. He always does a great job in all facets of the game when it comes to that. Um, so what let's let's talk about you a little bit more here, Zay. Uh what what is your best pat what's your best ET in three hundred foot? Three hundred foot, I believe I went uh I went a low forty. Okay. Okay. We are on low forty. That that bike on your profile picture on Facebook, is that uh is that yours? Uh the dirt bike? Or yeah. the four wheel? The dirt bike. No, that is not mine. I that's my uh one of my teammates, Brandon Williams. Oh, Brandon's coming too, I heard. Yes, sir. And wh wh what did you say your quickest ET was? Uh it was a low forty. Three forty. Three forty. Yes, sir. That's on the big banshee. Yeah, yeah, that's rolling. I thought and, you said uh, low four. Okay, so three, nah, four, low three, four. Three, yeah, four. That's what I wanted to. I have been low four on the dirt bike. We actually just reset the record for greens with the four thirty four on the dirt bike. Yes, sir. Nice. And you go, you go to Lumber River as well, if I remember right, don't you? Yes, sir. Both are really good tracks. Yeah, I love Lumber. It's a, it's a nice atmosphere, cool place. Got a little fishing hole in the back, a little lake, river. Yeah. Yeah. So, That's so, at Lumber River? Yes. And okay. the Buffalo. Yeah, can't forget the Buffalo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Buffalo? Yeah. That's awesome. Buffalo. Yeah. Rule. yeah. So with Greens, though, real quick, you've been there way more than me. Um, explain Greens to us and how they work how they do the track. Uh, one thing I like is getting your time slip on the way back. I think that's really, really cool. So if you wouldn't mind, as I kind of tell us a little bit about, about uh, how greens works and a little bit about the, the track that, you know, while we try to get Dan on tonight, uh, he's not able to do that this evening. So if you can kind of, you know, you're so close to him that I'm sure you, he would greatly appreciate you explaining that track for us. Um, so greens is a, it's a nice facility. It's a nice track. They they roam the track quite often. Um, so a lot of fast passes have been put down there. Um, like you said, you get your tickets coming down the return lane. So once you're in the track, turn around, coming back to the pits, you grab your ticket. So that's that. Um, got concession stands, good food out there always. Um, Plenty of shade, too. Yes, sir. And they always keep the track watered. It's like I said, it's always well groomed. Uh, like I said, we've ran our fast pass with a 434 on there. If that says anything about the track. Um yeah. And it's 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 gotten a little bit more sand in it, I think, than dirt, doesn't it? Am I thinking? Yeah, it's right? it's, it's 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 a little sandy. It's yeah. definitely have it's, it's a I don't really know how to explain it, but you you are correct. It is Sandy. Yeah. Some yeah. Some people run paddles. Can I get a drink? Yeah, Some people run paddles. Um, a lot of people run knobbies, but nine times out of ten, they're cut. But you know, 
Well, one thing about that track, when you got the nitro top fuel bikes coming in, you know the track's good. Oh, yeah. When those boys sure. show up, you know the track's good. If they're going to put them down, for sure. And they'll be there this weekend, as matter, or next weekend, as a matter of fact. Yes, sir. When they come down, the track is always on a thousand percent. You know, there's a number that's going to be ran that day. You got top fuel bikes coming next weekend? Absolutely. That's going to be yeah. awesome. Yep, George. Let's see, Isaiah, you might have to help me with this here a little bit. We got Hunter O'Hare. Hunter O'Hare. Yeah, Hunter. yeah. You're gonna definitely need help him right here. <laughs> yeah, you got to help me. Then we got George Milan. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, Eric, you know, had an accident, so he won't be there. Um, we've got. Uh, is it Ziggy? They call him Gizmo. Uh, Gizmo. Gizmo. Yes, Gizmo. Andy, Randy Gizmo. Yeah. yeah. Randy yep, Williamson. A, a fast yep, guy right there. He's a real fast guy. Yeah. Zay, yep. are you riding one? Uh, no, I'm not riding one. We have in my camp, there is a bike similar to it. I think it's a top fuel B class bike, but mm -hmm. I'm not Wait. sure if that's gonna make it or not. I haven't asked about that one. Um, top fuel B and top fuel A. Yeah, I believe so. If I'm not mistaken, there's two classes. Yeah, there it is. That's there's awesome. A and B. What's the yeah. difference? Don't get me lying. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I'm not yeah, lie to you. I, that's, that's a little bit out of my league. But if like you, said, if I'm, anybody I'm, watching this knows the difference between Top Fuel A and Top Fuel B, leave it in the comments, F Facebook or YouTube. Yes. Yes. So, uh, Isaiah, uh, for uh, next weekend, uh, what all you bring in? What classes are you going to have? Or what classes are you going to run in? Sit down. I think um, as long as I can get my bike together, I believe I'm going to run probably the 40 class, either the 40 or the 380 class with my Banshee. Depends on how it's running, because um, right now it's currently in pieces. It's not put back together yet. Ooh. Yeah, after my accident, <laughs> I had about in April. Uh, I messed it up a little bit, so I just got the frame back and. Whoa, I had to put whoa! The you had an accident in April. Yeah, I had a Is that nice why you were in the wrist? Yeah. So I got Damn. the wrist bracelet. I had a nice little tumble, probably about can almost we... in the track. Yeah. Can I ask you about it? Yeah. Um, yeah. What from like just kind of more detailed, kind of what happened? Uh, Mike was on the pass. And from the 30 foot mark, it carried the tires all the way, all the way about. I say to 120, 130. Um, and once I set it down, the, the dirt's so soft and I have no suspension on the front. It's strutted all the way around. Well, I lied. I got a shawl on the back, but it's strutted on the front. Um, it slammed down. The tire dug into the dirt because the track was cut so deep. And okay. it tossed me and I went for a nice little tumble. Um, Where was that at? It was at Greens. It oh. was at Greens. Yeah. Oh well, uh, have you ran since you 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 raced since then, right? Oh yeah, I finished out that 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 event and oh. took home first in the stream class. Oh, <laughs> um, hell yeah, that's awesome. I had to go to the hospital afterwards, but yeah, yeah. It. <laughs> Man, I, I bet like that I, hurt like a bitch while you're trying to race. <laughs> like I told you, Billy, as I is well respected. Everybody loves him. He's a sportsman. He's a true racer, and. uh I, I yeah, he'll, he'll jump right back on that thing and do what he needs to do, man. And uh, he's bringing up his son the same way, and we're definitely excited about seeing seeing Joe. Now he's now hold on, I'm sorry not to get ahead of myself, but Joe's got his own little page, don't he? Oh yes, sir, he does. He actually has a he has a YouTube channel, he has Instagram, and he has a Facebook page as well. Well, dude, plug plug the YouTube. The YouTube is the life of Joe at the life of Joe. All right. Well, I'm, you're getting another follower right now. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, I'm excited. How many, uh, I don't know, how many, how many, uh, banshees, formulas you think is going to show up up there next weekend? What are you thinking? Hopefully we can get at least 10 of them. And the fast ones. Yeah, ten of the fast ones. Hopefully, we can get them out and have a nice turnout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm thinking total. I think it's going to be 
a pretty good turnout with everybody. From what I'm hearing, I'm getting a lot of messages saying that there, there's going to be some boys coming down. You know what I mean? So I think it's going to be a good, a good event. Yeah, I'm definitely interested to see how good the turnout's going to be. I think it's going to be a good turnout. I'm ready to see uh, some of them bad trucks run. And, of course, the top fuel. That's what I'm really ready to see, the top fuel. I love the top fuel. Yep. Yep. We're going to uh, we're going to attempt to run the side-by-sides against the trucks, too, in a little thing called Pro Comp. So we're going to be uh, looking into that. Depends on the amount of entries yeah. that we get. So. Yeah, that would be, be nice interesting. Right that would be interesting with our side-by-sides and trucks. And not just, like, you know, slow side-by-sides. Like, really fast. Yeah. That would be really fun. Right. I know – I know four side by sides that are coming that are three eighties, at least. So, one guy, is, including yours, including mine. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. we've uh, we got one guy that's on the bubble. He don't want me to mention his name yet, but if he comes down, actually, we got two oh. um, that are very capable of running three sixties. So we'll see how that works out. That's rolling for a side by side. Hey, and no shit. Hey everyone, this week's podcast sponsored by Racing in the Dirt. Located in Cleveland, Wisconsin, Racing in the Dirt is ready to put their over 30 years worth of off-road experience to work for you. From turnkey builds to rolling chassis to an awesome selection of parts, the Racing in the Dirt staff has got you covered. Brake kits, aluminum hub kits, enclosed chain drives and kits, dry shaft loops, and even DIY wheelie bar kits, all available. So let Scott, Shane, and the crew at Racing in the Dirt get you the competitive edge you need. Give them a call at area code 920-693-2000. That's area code 920-693-2000. Or find them on Facebook or even racinginthedirt.com. That's racinginthedirt.com. And the UPS Daily. Four by four ATVs, man. We got the new uh classes yeah. here, if you will, for World Sand Drag News. That's going to be something cool to see. We got quite a few of the four by fours coming. Four by fours got to work. Uh, you know, we Zay, got does your camp have a four by four quad? Sorry, Dave. I totally cut okay. you off. That's all right. That, that is one setup that we do not have. We do not have one of those yet. Are yeah, you, got... Dave, how many four by four ATV classes you guys got? We got two. We've got naturally aspirated, and then we've got what we're calling the outlaw. So, oh, yeah. uh, the outlaw, man, we've got uh, one guy's got a supercharger on it. That's Greg Laughlin. Uh, we've got some nitro guys. We got Richard Gasno. Uh, Zai, you know Richard, don't you? Uh, yes, I've talked to him a couple times. I've seen him. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He's got the night, the one that runs on nitromethane. Yeah. But he's, he's changed that up. Now, he's, uh, I talked to him just the other night. And uh, he's going to M1. He's going to try it next weekend on just straight alcohol, just M1, see what it does. So uh, kind of excited to see how his his does. But I, I think we, we've we got a good possibility, a good chance to see some of these boys that are coming with these four-wheelers, uh, the four-by-fours. There might be a couple three-second runs in there. These guys are bringing the heat. Yeah, was gonna, that, that was going to lead up to my next question. What's the fastest four-by-four four-wheeler pass? That either of y'all has seen. We'll start with Zay or Dave. I don't care. But like, what's the fastest pass that you've seen out of a four by four bike? Um, probably, go ahead, Ozzy. Go ahead. Probably going to have to say, uh, I believe it was Richard. I think it was at Lumber River when Cycle Drag was down there, and I believe that was a fast pass I seen right there. No, oh, we yeah. don't want to talk about Cycle Drag too much after he got that <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can tell you, the rumor has it there is two guys that have told me that they have seen out of their four by four ATV three sixes. Ooh. Three sixties? Three sixties. I can fast. tell you both That's these fast. boys both these boys <laughs> will be on site. So well, we're gonna find out. Well, our uh, season-long sponsor, Racing in the Dirt, will always tell you that 4x4 is faster. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who knows? Maybe yeah. we'll see a 4x4 triple-cylinder Banshee one of these days. <laughs> That's some crazy stuff right there. 
Well, as I, I mean, we, you know, we, we did this just because trying to help grow the sport, you know what I mean? And that's one spot that, you know, we need to help grow it. Um, I know I want to touch base on this real quickly. Um, I don't have a dirt bike specific class. Um, unfortunately, the rest of the tracks really don't have a lot of dirt bikes as greens gets. And we had some uh, concerns, people calling in about that. As I was very well aware of it. And, was he uh, one of the guys that called in? No, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, man. You ain't, you, if, if Isaiah, if, hey, if you told Isaiah we was going to run grocery carts down the racetrack, he would be in the grocery truck cart pushing the cart down the racetrack. I'm telling you, he don't yeah, care. I, I probably would. I probably Absolutely. would. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but no, I mean, we, we, we got it worked out. I believe we are looking at, you know, we're, we're going to throw something together for these guys. I mean, it's only fair. Like, one guy made a very good point to me. He said, uh, you know, you keep saying you're growing the sport. We, we don't have a dirt bike class. And I kind of had to take that one right on the chops. You know what I mean? So I called Danny at, you know, Danny and Dan, you know, the, the mm -hmm. uh, uh, Fowler. And we talked about it. And and uh, Zai, has, he's been helping me out, getting with the guys, letting them know, hey, man, we're going to do something. So, so yeah, we're, we're looking forward to that. There's a lot, man. We got we got four by four ATVs. We got the bad boy side by sides. We got the Banshees. We got the four stroke, you know, quads. We got full size. We got dirt bikes. I mean, we got the kids. If somebody says there wasn't a class for them when they come down here, they they ain't looking at the right spot because we got it. I mean, we got index. I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. I see, I see plenty of options. Yes. Oh, and man. we got good money. We're looking at 7500 that will be handing out. That's guaranteed. That's a lot of guaranteed payout money between those classes. That's a lot of payout money. Yep. Guaranteed yep. at that. Not a lot of tracks and people do the guaranteed. Most of the time, it's you have to have a 15 bike count or a 30 bike count, but that's guaranteed. Yes, sir. And the reason I'm doing that is because we got sponsors, and I'm going to mention them here at the end before we go. But these guys put in the money for the six races this year, you know, and man, they're putting the money out. We're going to give it out. You know what I mean? That's what it's for. We want, I want to make sure, and I made a post, I'm looking at it now. You know, to get people to thank these sponsors, not just at what I'm doing at my series, but all of them. You know what I mean? I mean, you got we got to remember if it wasn't for that, it'd be kind of hard to do. Uh, the other thing is too, as I is, uh, you know, it's not only the guaranteed purse. You know, there's money that the uh, I think it's eighty percent, eighty percent of the entry fee, if I remember right, on most classes is going back to the racer. So yes, yeah. like in the. Um, in your class in the four wheelers, it's uh, I think we got it set at eight hundred dollars guarantee plus eighty percent of uh, entry fee. So man, that class right there could be depending on how many we get, it might be two grand. Nice money to be made. Yeah. Nice money to be made out there. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, man, so you tell us that you've uh, you've been following World Sandrag News Heroes of late. Is that right? Yes, sir. Is there we anything you want to see us do differently or add while we got you on here? That's a bold question. Yeah, <laughs> is this for right Zay? Is this for me? Yeah. Put him, him right um, out there. I think you're doing good. I think it's what you're doing is great. But like some said, a, a dirt bike class would be nice because that is it is a very it is a very popular class right now, and it could be a very big class. You know, it's it's a lot of these dirt bikes out here that'll run for the guaranteed money. You know, especially down south, southeast. Correct. Yeah, North Carolina. Obviously, they come from South Carolina, where I'm from. We yep. got a few of them in Georgia. We got Virginia, uh, the southern part of West Virginia, if you will. And there's boys that come out of there, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Now, Billy, do we have anything for a regular dirt bike? I don't know that we, we do. do. Have, we do have dirt bike records for World Sand Drag News, and I will. There is. And Steve the, I'm sure he's. I'm that. sure he's very much aware of that. Uh, Steve Starkey holds that record currently. Who? Are you going to take it away from him next Steve weekend? Starkey. Hold on. Um, if the bike is out, we actually hurt the bike about a month and a half ago down at 316 Test and Tuning. Yeah. Um, so if the bike is out, hopefully we're going to try to 
We're definitely going to try to get that world record. We got the greens record with a 34. And now we're going to try to get that world record. I believe it's like a 29 or a 28, something like that. Oh, you're right there. You're right there. Yep, we ran a 434. So. Nice. I think I found him. Okay, yeah, I did find him. Uh, there's a bunch of cipher through here on the World Sand Drag News. If you're ever looking for our class uh, records, uh, worldsanddragnews.com. <laughs> Uh, go to go to the tab, go to records, and voila, and you can find right here the A Pro Bike World Record by Devin Weaver, as he said, three eighteen with a seven at one hundred nine point two five miles an hour at Shelton's Dirt Drags. That's fast. That's fast as and Steve's, on a dirt Steve's, bike. No, I don't. I don't think that's a dirt bike. I don't think that's a dirt bike. Oh, Steve okay. Starkey has the dirt bike one. Oh, okay. Where's that? Oh, okay. Here it is. Okay, yeah. Uh, C Pro bike four thirty with a nine. Oh, yep. There you go. Yep. Seventy nine point one miles an hour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Single cylinder four. Yeah. Single cylinder. What is that? So we're right there. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm excited for you, man. I hope you get it together. Love to see you there. Love to – hey, man, it'd be awesome to break a couple records out. I mean, you know, we got to really – I mean, obviously, I think we're going to be setting two two World Sand Drag records immediately, you know, when we got to 4x4 ATVs. Let's throw the dirt bike in there, man, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm all about it. I'm all about whatever grows the sport. So, um, you see quite a few things – in this 300 foot sport, you know, uh, dirt bikes, four wheelers, three wheelers, Jeeps, side by sides, trucks, dragsters, buggies, all that. It. It's just it's, the variety of awesome. crazy things that you can see. <laughs> yeah. So, real quick, Zay, what is, uh, Dave, if I went off the rails, I'm sorry. Um, go for it. Go for it. Zay, what is one, what's your favorite track you've been to? And then what's one track you really want to go to? Favorite track I've been to, I'm going to have to say Lumber River. Um, One track I would like to go to will be either uh, Shelton's or either, what's the one in Louisiana? Gilbert. Gilbert, or either Gilbert. Because yeah. I, heard, I heard that's a really fast track, and I'd definitely like to go give it a shot one day down there. Yeah, those are two solid uh, picks either way you go. And – uh if you got if you got time, you could definitely hit both of them this year. <laughs> but I don't know how feasible that is from Virginia. I don't know how far it is to Kentucky from where you're at, or yeah. even Kentucky's like eight hours, I think. Okay. Now Louisiana, now that's gonna be the drive. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Well, I've got one more question, and it's for Joe. Where's he at? Hey, you sit up, buddy. He right here. All right. There he is. I want to know who is your favorite racer. My favorite racer is my daddy. There you go. That's what we wanted to hear. But you could have said me or Billy or somebody, but that's okay. I mean, if it's your dad, it's your dad. You know, whatever. Hey, that was <laughs> awesome. That was awesome. That was uh, I, was, I thought he was going to say John Force or something. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really didn't know who he was gonna say. I, I thought he was gonna say Mario or somebody, but uh, he shocked me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's something to be proud of, man, for sure. For sure. That's something to be proud of. Yeah, you why am be I proud favorite of. racer? Because you win trophies. Because I win trophies. Yeah. Yeah. He's your favorite <laughs> racer because he wins trophies. Is that what you said, Joe? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Absolutely. Um, well, yeah, the Southern Power Sports Drag Racing Series race happening next weekend at Greens. Is it Raceway? Raceway. Yes. Okay, Greens Raceway, uh, presented by Fowler Racing. At say the town for me one more time, Zay. Dispatana, Virginia. Dis you dis oh, Dispatana. Dispatana, yeah. Virginia. I said Disputana. <laughs> this, this, oh, God damn it. Disputana, Virginia. 
Greens Raceway presented by Fowler Racing. Southern Power Force Drag Racing Series heading there next week. What's the date, Dave? August 22nd through the 24th. This particular race, we are racing on Thursday. So we are going to do test and tune. Thursday night just going to be a gambler's race. Uh, also, dirt bikes are going to be running that night if, uh, if there's nothing that uh, can make it. And then Friday, we've got – oh, my goodness, man. Friday is the ATV bar, ATV no bar. we got the big bracket race. we got a bracket race for the trucks. Um, and then Saturday is all the other stuff, man. Index, uh, the 4 by 4s the uh, uh, the outlaw sap sides, all the big boys come out on Saturday. Plus, again, we get enough dirt bikes and trucks. We're going to do something for them as well. Yeah, about to all of it. Uh, if you uh, if you don't mind, Billy, real quick, got to sure. throw these guys in here. Yeah, uh, our title sponsors, Mister R- Mister RPM Cycle. We've got uh, no other order. Murray Power Sports, Whale and Speed R and D, The Bomb Racing, Jeff Ross, HCL Contracting. Bernie Racing, M&P Racing, Equipment, Repair and Service in North Carolina, High Tech Power Sports, National Junior Dirt Drags. Joe, you're going to like that if you get one of those belts. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go grab one and show it to him here in a second. Yeah. Angel Performance, Restro Quad, World Sand Drag News has been a huge help. So real quick, Angel Performance is giving out $200 at this race. Um for the fastest mile an hour in Sapaside Outlaw. Bernie Racing is doing $200 for the quickest ET in Sapaside Outlaw. Restro Quad is doing $50 for both uh, bar and no bar in the quads for the quickest ET. If you guys are watching this, make sure you have your slips in order to receive that. Um, and that's where we're at. I'm going to grab this belt. Billy, go ahead and ask him another question. Sure, yeah. Um, and just in case y'all didn't know, um, I don't think Dave's outlaw side by side class allows uh, cars with a wheelie bar. It's just uh, no wheelie bars. Um, but yeah, uh, Zay, before we end the show here, and before it looks like Joe falls asleep in that chair, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, first of all, we really appreciate you joining us. It was awesome having you. Uh, we'll definitely have to do one of these again during the off season. And once again, hold on real quick. Say something, Dave, so they can see it. There you go. Thanks to National Junior Dirt Drags. Not real good though. picture, but that's one of the belts that the kids will get. That's one of the belts that they can win. Right, in this particular side-by-side outlaw class, there is no wheelie bars, must have suspension. Although, if you come there with a wheelie bar or no rear suspension, you can run an index bracket wherever else just that particular class next year it looks like there's quite a few people billy ain't been able to talk to you about this there's quite a few guys that are building some bad boys over the winter so it looks like next year we are going to end up having a true if you will outlaw class and i'm very excited about that we'll get to that later yes that's gonna be awesome that's kind of breaking news right there so that's sweet um but yeah i'm excited for this race and joe has a chance of winning that awesome belt uh, he's currently my favorite to win the Pee Wee's class because I don't know any other kid racing, and Joe's awesome. So, uh, <laughs> shout out to Joe. Uh, thank you, Zay, once again for joining us, and uh, hope to have you on later on. Yes, and, sir. Uh, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yes, sir. I appreciate y'all inviting me on. Absolutely, absolutely. But thanks again, Zay. Thank you, Joe. You've been great. Sounds like welcome. welcome. <laughs> All right. And that was our uh, quick little preview. We'll talk more about next week of the uh, Southern Power Sports Drag Racing Series race at Greens Raceway in Disputana. There you go. <laughs> yeah, Virginia. Hey, everyone. This week's podcast sponsored by Racing in the Dirt. Located in Cleveland, Wisconsin, Racing in the Dirt is ready to put their over 30 years worth of off-road experience to work for you. From turnkey builds to rolling chassis to an awesome selection of parts, the Racing in the Dirt staff has got you covered. Brake kits, aluminum hub kits, enclosed chain drives and kits, dry shaft loops, and even DIY wheelie bar kits, all available. So let Scott, Shane, and the crew at Racing in the Dirt get you the competitive edge you need. Give them a call at area code 920-693-2000. That's area code 920-693-2000. Or find them on Facebook 
or even racingindthedirt.com. That's racingindthedirt.com and the UPS Daily.